Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead and welcome to Fabric Friday. You saw me making the curtains for the trailer tent out of old denim shirts that we've got. Well, I made the curtains and I also cut some squares up. I hadn't got enough. So like here, I patched denim and um, the combat together. I also did some mosaic blocks. They take quite a while to do, but they do look good. I'm glad I didn't go for the whole thing in mosaic blocks because that would have taken far too long <laughs> and it is a little bit wider than it looks uh, because although you can only see four rows high there's a fifth one that hangs down the back. Once I've made the quilt sandwich I will actually stitch in the ditch along it and then that will do so I want to have this done for the trailer tent when we go that rally so I'm just going to do the quilt sandwich um, and then stitch in the ditch and put the binding on because I've got some binding left quite a bit actually from Toad's quilt so I'm going to use it on this one the reason I'm only just going to set in the ditch because of its size and I'm not sure how it's going to be in the throat of my sewing machine I've spent three days out of the last four sewing <laughs> I need to do a lot more. I've got to do a lot around the house and loads of other things. So it's going to be a week before I come back to sewing. I do like that and I found a different way of pouring blocks together with the sashing that works that works really really well look how they match so i will make another quilt for someone or something sometime and show you exactly what i found what i was doing possibly wrong before and now I'm doing it right or whatever it's it's just a matter of sewing it up slightly different and it works so well this is just a quick note um, showing you how it stands at the moment next video I do will be and when we're at the rally and this and the curtains are there I'll do a video on that so thank you for now bye